Carter, he's our teacher, said we would be going on a social studies trip from Auckland to live with a Maori tribe on an island. We could hardly believe it. Motiti Island. I didn't even know where it was, but Janet got out her atlas and found it. Fourteen miles off the coast of Tauranga. Gee, fancy sleepy in a meeting house. Forty of us, just like they used to in the old days. Mr. Carter gave out some notices about it to take home, but I couldn't wait to tell Mum all about it myself. We are going to live with the Maori children, learn about life on the island and see how they get their food. Mr. Carter called all the parents in class together for a meeting on the very next Wednesday and he explained all about the island and what our class would learn from such a trip. We had all been divided into groups, each one in charge of some part of the planning. He told the parents about the meetings we have in class and everybody reports on what they have been doing. The island supplying all the food? Yes, they have told us that they will be. Are there any questions? Do we have knives and forks or do we eat with our fingers? No, we eat with our toes. We'll be using knives and forks. Has the transport group written to the Benici Motors yet? Yes, we have. They haven't replied yet. Yeah, probably couldn't read their writing. The finance group was all right, though. They told us that they had been up to the bank, and the teller had shown them how to operate a class account. Three of their signatures to every cheque. The transport group really started to work on the morning we left. The driver had to work hard to keep ahead of them. At last we were ready to leave. We were too excited to say goodbye properly, so most of us just waved out the window. As soon as we got on our way, Mr. Carter began to talk to us through the bus loudspeaker and we all got out our study sheets. There was lots to see and as we travelled south, we made notes and talked about the places that we passed, such as the Murray Murray power station, which is steam turbines to generate the electricity. In between times, Ross got out his ukulele. before we knew it. Jonesy, the launch skipper, said it would take us three hours to get to Motiti, so we left immediately to be across before it got dark. He let me steer some of the way. It was beauty fun. we landed, we went straight to the Marae where the real Taiha challenge was given. <laughs> we all got a bit scared, and I think Mark was too, but he walked slowly forward to pick up the branch to show that we had come in peace. Then one of the elders welcomed us to the island on behalf of the Nanti Patawai tribe to which they all belonged. He looked very fierce and grand in his cloak. Then we went forward and met the people and shook hands with everybody outside the meeting house. Then it was time for tea. A hangi cooked on hot steaming stones in the ground. 
It looked good when they opened it up. Angela wasn't sure if she liked it. But we soon got used to it, and now we all think that the Hangy's food's the best you can get. And after tea, it was time for bed, in a real meeting house. We started learning about the island the very next morning when we went over to the little schoolhouse for lessons with our new friends. Mr. Carriker, the teacher, told us how they used to be cut off from the mainland for days back weather until the post office gave them a new radio telephone, which has funny looking masts. Then they took us all to see the main crop on the island, which is maize. We went by taxi, by Titi Taxi. They have hundreds and hundreds of acres of maize which stretch away as far as you can see. They sow and harvest with a big machine and sell a crop on the mainland. Everywhere we went we made notes and drawings of what we saw so that we can make a proper report when we get back. Virginia made a sketch of the village layout while we looked at the carvings on the meeting house. All the carvings have a meaning. Some of them tell legends about the island and of battles fought in the past. P-A-T-U-W-A-I. Remember that. Patuai means striking the water. Many years ago, our tribe tricked some attackers by making them follow our canoes out to sea. Then, suddenly they turned on the pursuers, swapping the canoes, beat them senseless. We get crayfish whenever we can. We call them Kora. The sea has always been a good friend of the Maori people, and we often go fishing. Joe, my brother, was back with a Kora only a few minutes after he dived in. Margaret took it from him and showed it to my friends. Every evening we all went riding on our horses. We never used saddles, but everyone soon learned to stay on, even though they had never ridden a horse before. Sometimes we had a race. Everyone would come to watch, like they do when we play baseball. Nobody knows who wins, but it doesn't matter because it's all lots of fun. And then suddenly it was Friday, and time to go home. We were told that if we jumped on the sacred rock of Motiti, we'd bring bad weather, and we might have to stay on the island. We all jumped as hard as we could. But the magic didn't seem to work. So we tried again. We thought we had failed. But just as we were packing up, it started to rain, 
But Mr. August laughed and said that a storm was coming and that magic was working. But we must have left our jumping until too late. Well, there was still time for us to leave the island. The boys and girls have promised that they will come and stay with us in Auckland very soon. A lot of people from the park came down to see us off. The Motiti people have been very kind to us. I know that we will never forget them. Well, I've got Uncle for uh, uh, Green to, to do this, so I'm sure it'll go a long way. Did I? Oh, oh you, signed the, <laughs> you signed the paper. <laughs> you know, you'll we'll kick off straight away, and um, so it's all about the Rena, as you would know. So, what were you doing and when you heard about the Rena when it crashed into a Titan? Just waking up. Just waking up? Mm. Being in the morning, yeah. So, how did that make you feel when you first saw that? Well, I laughed and hurt, and, and it sort of hit me, you know. It didn't feel very good. Mm. Really. Especially after you start thinking that all the rubbish is going to create that. Yep. Yeah. It was, it was, you know, I, when I thought of you know, all those containers on top of the bed and then mm. the sea, which I actually did. Yep. Yeah. So, what, what, are you, what, what are your feelings now about? What's going on in this last four years? Well, I admire you for us. Keep it going like to get it all. I'm right behind it. Right behind it. Cool. Here you go. So just take me back to, uh, you know, on your t when your time when you were living on the island and you were, uh, you know, when you were little and even when you went back there when you worked over here. Tell, tell us a little bit about that. Not a little. Well, we had a. What for me was a good life, but different to what the little kids we were getting now. Mm. We had plenty of fun. Yep. Rode horses. Rode horses. horses. Lucky Kumara. Yeah. In the maze. In the maze, Kumara. In the maze. Mm. Following the old man up there, you know, he's ploughing up and he's ploughing the horses. So it's not the island. The first time I know it, you know, when you know, he didn't have any tractor. All he had was horses. That's it. Mm. Then I went back at him up and I went to the snow and he had a tractor. Yeah, just carrying on. We'll ignore that music, but it might be a good backdrop anyway. Uh, so, about uh, diving there, Uncle Yu, I mean, to me, you're, you're the, the legend of diving over there. I mean, you showed me some spots we used to dive at. There we... So tell me about your, your diving and fishing, especially on a Otaiti. Well, fishing was well, mostly for our play when we used to go out when we did have a boat and that was we only went there all when George George had his boat, George took her. Mm. Just go out with him. When I first when I was a little fellow, about six, seven, we used to go out with Tor. And then when I went back again when I was in Pokata and it went back and uh, George had a boat. He used to go out with him, fishing for Africa. Diving past us on his spear fishing. I remember some of the stories uh, that went, to, went around, all of you, from my father actually, um, your brother, and he said <coughs> that um, uh, you speared a, a kingfish, there was one of the a record. Yeah, stars. I was telling you, but that was at Kariki. Okay. Yeah, we were just talking about it the other day. We were calmly looking at the map of that. Where's that book, uh, car? Mm. 
Mm. Yeah. Why was she looking for that? Book on Kuya, and you mean, like, so how many kingfish did you spear that day when you were at Oh, two. two. One little one, you know, the big one. Okay. It was a huge man, you know, it's a big one. Mm. But you see the little one, you see the white spear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hawaiian yeah. yeah. scene? Yeah, the power bomb. Mm. The power bomb, and then when it come off, it came into the water. Mm. 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 Diving around the island, far away. Yeah, but I've been right around there, mm. all around it. So you dive in all, every yeah, yeah, yeah. place there? Yeah, we went in there. You know, this probably hasn't got most of the, the beaches, say, the bay. Mm -hmm. It's when you got the path and the rivers. Oh, it's it's yeah. it much you pass and reach. We want the beaches as well. Mm. Um, so, with you know, did, in your young days, did, did, did you recall any of the, the Kroa queer doing karakias before they they went fishing, diving? Well, well, I was. Well, I, I left the island when I was about eight. Mm. Not even for that time. Didn't hear much about that. Even when I went back, old oh, Charlotte used to say, Come on, we go fishing. Never say they have seen her study doing a colour tea or anything. She might have done it at home, quietly to herself. Mm -hmm. But I did hear that the old man used to tell me colour tea because yeah. colour tea wouldn't come back. Don't have a piss. Okay. Don't piss in the water. This is Don't have a clay. You don't eat mm. all those things, eh? So there's a ticket. First, first nap that we catch, we cut it up and eat it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is that the ticket? <laughs> well, that's what our ticket is. It's not the model of get the tail on all getting locked. <laughs> it wasn't until later on, I heard the fuller they throw the first one away to break the tail on them. Yeah, well, definitely a, a different. Um, Yes, ticking on different you, you places. You listen to those fellas on the coast, eh? Mm, you know, mm, mm, mm. you catch a car away and throw it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I remember myself when you know when we were diving for kinders, mm. we'd be eating the kinders yeah, while yeah. we were diving. Yeah, mm. so yeah you go down the coast, didn't you? Yeah. First time yeah. I heard that uh, thing not to eat at the beach was when I was in the Palo in the Pippies. Yeah, down the thing. Don't eat anything. Don't eat anything. You come away. Get, get away from the water. Mm -hmm. then you. So obviously, I mean, different people have different. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, what was they don't pour from the beach. Mm -hmm. We do. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. To me, you now you mentioned that the pawpaw pour kinning kinna. In my own mind, I, I, I sticks out for me vividly that how all the how the old farmer used to get together. Yeah, yeah, and they go around a rock, and mm -hmm. the, the divers are picking it up, and they mm -hmm. are not all going on a rock. Yeah, I remember. You know. we, we afterwards we when uh, kinna all hard kinna goes down in the man, you do some fishing and catch them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hard. Yeah, ground uh, yeah. ground bait. Eh? Yeah. Mm. So yeah. Okay, we're just moving on there. Um, can you remember any karaki um, so that the old people did regarding gathering food, kai uh, in the morning? No, it was, that was the only fellow that was toko. Toko Yes. Okay. Because um, he was a ringatsu, eh? Right. He was a ringatsu. Ringatsu? Yeah. Right. So the last I question... I don't, don't remember, don't remember the old man. Okay. Okay. Uh, him being without an issue, eh? mm -hmm. that wouldn't be. Well, but he, he was the one, that's what told me that what supposed to happen. Okay. 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 Cool. Just now? Uh, no. Don't knock me over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, carry on.
<coughs> Here we go. Yeah. Okay. 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 Any kinas or powers, particularly powers that have discoloration in their in their shells. No. Any time no. that you, no. you you die for powers no. at any time. No? No. You're talking about those power shells that yeah. 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 water. Yeah, power. Telling me about it. But we keep talking. What they what they say to me is that the um, course of the discoloration in those powers that we handed into them to uh, to analyze could be cause of sponges. Sponges? sponges? So what you are trying to say is that uh, the sponges would have been there before the Rena, so it should have been happening then. Sponges is very much part and parcel of the marine life. Yeah, yeah. So it should have been happening pre Rena. Yeah, should have been. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I don't think anybody's seen it. One more question. Two years earlier, it that uh, the northern side, uh, this is where those power shells are uh, picked up. Yeah, uh, well, a lot of the oil from that yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. from the uh, from the fresh ended up in that facility, yeah? Yeah. Apparently because of uh, the the wrap around time. Yeah. 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 Well even yeah. for saying when you get those north uh, the northeasterly winds mm. that hammers that takes the northern side. And it turns around to the northwest it still gets hammered. And that wind was just go backwards and forwards around there, backing up she reckons for bloody clip. Yeah, well, it was on top it was, of it. Eh? I was just going to say that yeah. it was up high. It was high. Yeah. Of course, that's when uh, that, that thing tipped over, eh? that uh, all those containers, that big storm there. Right. That was a week or a couple yeah. of weeks after the grounding. Yeah. And that's where a lot of those, that timber ended up, up, up those cliffs. Smashed. Mm. Uh, so there's no, no easters. I've seen them myself. I'll go oh, there. Yeah. The well, you can see it from home. You can see the man breaking over. Oh, oh. Above the trees, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. look from home down to the, what's the I know. They also used to wrap around and go down to uh, Manaiki. West End, yeah. down there. Down, down, down to Manaiki, three feet around there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And goes up into Wairani. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Or even right down Matariri. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It goes right, right down. down past Woods mm -hmm. Bay, Sandy mm -hmm. Bay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I remember that, um, yeah. that um, where those parkers used to, or parked up there. That smashed uh, the that's, 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 that's right down the end. The oil in that end up around there. Oh, oh yeah. Well, Andy's. Mm, uh, yeah, this place, yeah. That, that's just over yeah, from the Yeah, but there's what's just rocking straight down. Piled up on top. Right. And <coughs> you can Uncle, expect Uncle, that from there. Uncle Ward, but that uh, we're gonna thing of uh, the breakwater there, mm. that was concreted in and it got smashed. Right, right. Mm. Did you ever see the saddle rock when it was a saddle? No. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, hey, I hey, remember. Yeah. Thing come out, eh? Yeah, mm. big storm knocked that thing off. The, 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 the mm. front of it. See, they said tuning like down, that. down that uh, northern side. Right. So that's oh, well, one of the last questions. Uncle, so what do you want the arena, uh, why do you want the arena of Otaiti in its entirety? Well, Actually, well, uh, it's, it's not the render we we're really worried about. It's what it's got in it, eh? Mm -hmm. It's got on it, you know. It's all the copper, and uh, mm -hmm. it's still they they haven't said they found those uh, chemicals there. Yeah. So there's like two hundred and sixty odd containers still not accounted for. In a case. Hmm. So. You no, know, no, I don't know the quality stuff. It's what what's in it. But mm -hmm. And potentially it could harm the environment out there, and then therefore, and you know, we see the multiples of uh, ships around the world, you know, all rusted hot, you know, mm. nothing. Mm. 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 
วดจะมีเกิดขึ้นมาคงเป็นคอปเปอร์ So they are fixed to be transferred or translated into your m o k a p u n a Oh, yeah. 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 Just off those questions, Uncle, can you uh, remember any of uh, the, the Hakka parties from the island back in the day? Yeah, yeah I can remember when m o t i t i y used competition with the Puna. But they didn't have haka. Okay. I don't remember them having a haka. Can you remember any any f a k a t o k i from the island that were specific to m o t i t i to to p a t o i No. Anyone else? Well, w h y else does you know? I don't know if Kairos got those, but I have to remember old Ruben. w h y a s singing t h e s e w a y e and they were from m o t i t i eh? They were from Motiji. Ruben Hall? He's in the... Uh, <coughs> Hakupa, Hanwon. Mm. Okay. They're, they're to come back and they're, they're caught in their home and... You can see them all bring up the flint up to the old house. w h y a s doing their w a y a s <laughs> to, you want to add anything else? What were you want, wanted to say about what's happening? What what would be your take on the reason why the arena owners want to rig the fifth day for? They reckon it's in 75 meters, so uh, it's down 75 meters sitting on the bottom end. Now we're for car of the team. The team made out the car if I get away with the car if I get there. That's all. The car will get there. That's all. That's all. Well, they're in there, you know, if it's that ship was somewhere else, you know, like tourists and that, they'd have got it out. I know. Mm. Yeah. Well, look, look at that bloody uh, Costa Rica accordion. Yeah, that's yeah. it, isn't it? Yeah. 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 The whole ship, they got it out. Yeah. Although it was a bit better than what this one is, they were playing on the side. Yeah. One of the, one of the crewers <laughs> made a statement that if you remember the Rainbow Warrior. Yeah. They scuttled that bed to get over to m a t o n i Bay, eh? Yeah. 30 years ago. Yep. And you know, my t o u g h t e r worked at m a t o n i I got what they are. You see that to me, t h e w o r l d might be that. But to me, totally two different things. t o t a l They stripped that one. Yeah, they, they stripped they everything that, that, that was uh, that contaminated yeah, the did. water. They did, yeah. It's like the yeah, one yeah, in the uh, Motiti that uh, yeah. sunk. Yeah. They yeah. sunk on the southern end of Motiti. They stripped everything. Everything that contaminates water. That's according yeah. to Māori. Yeah. Māori had yeah. a lot to do with it. Eh? Yeah. So yeah. That was the well, well, they wouldn't yeah. allow them to, to, to think that uh, Rainbow Warrior up there next day. They did that. Because I know they um, spent a lot of time with Greenpeace, or we did. We spent a lot of time with Greenpeace. Eh? And they, mm -hmm. Just to confirm in my mind, I just rang them back last week to ask them about that. Eh? Mm -hmm. And they did say, now they stripped it clean, and we know they did. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's what they do. They, they stripped it. Yeah. And then they said to me that uh, they worked in conjunction with the needs of evil yeah. at that time there, over there. Because I do know that the mask, the mask part of the Rainbow Warrior, is up at Tarot over there, up on the hill. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I've seen it actually there. Over there. I, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's all. Well, uh, mind it, but the ship thing, and it's, it's what's the, what it's got on it. Yeah. Hmm. <coughs> Anything further you want to add, Uncle? Can you, can you close. Well, when you for when you, or is it for the meeting in yeah, yeah. September? Yes, September.
Mm. Not that nothing helpful. No, that's uh, uh, no, that's good. That uh, that'll help us a lot. Uncle. Um, one last thing. Uh, what do you understand about Modi? Where does where where is Modi? Is the Modi in the? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on. Anyone else want to? Let's wait. What are So, Auntie, uh, oh, so then just tell me your name and. Uh, Maybe we heard of it now. Uh, your age? 18. Nearly 86. Nearly 86, cool. So, Nanny, um, what were you doing when you found out about the Rena? What were you actually doing? Oh, well, I was just at home when, uh, when some of the. More calls than the children run up to say, or have, have, have I heard about the Rena? Mm. And then I said, Oh, yeah, I have it a little bit, but I don't really know what's, you know, what's, what's happening. actually happening now. Right. Mm. So, did you see it on TV eventually? Yeah, and on TV. How did that make you feel when you saw that? Oh, I, was, I was quite disgusted in a way because um, I had been talking to other people and some had said to me that they wanted to leave it there mm -hmm. and I said to them I don't think they should leave it there because we still got generations coming up that you know that part of it, um, I was telling them that used to be a, a part of the part of, uh, place where the, like, even my father he always used to go there and fish for hapuku and that was part of their what money they got for their living yeah. And not only my father, there was about four, four or five boats there mm. that they all spent a lot of time on that. Uh, they knew it really well. Mm. So, was there, you know, just to, um, so there, were there any um, karakia or, or, or that pre preceded the fishing? Or? Well, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure about that. I would say there would have been. I would say mm. there would have been because I've been, uh, I've seen it happen. And, other places are more city, mm. so I, I can't see why that place was left out. Mm. Mm. So it definitely would have been a karakia before you started yeah. fishing? Yeah, mm. always. So tell me about your time on the island, Nanny. What did you do? What did you eat? Where did you go? Who did you stay with? Start off with those first. What did you do yeah. on the island? Well, the, of course, the island in our time, it was mostly the, the actual, really, the whole island was in, there was no, no, uh, every, every bit of the island was used up in maize, kumaras, you know, there was no paddocks, might have been a few paddocks for a few horses and cows, mm. but everything was always used for, especially maize. Mm. They had maize and when they had acres of kumara, that was because that was part of their living. They didn't have mm -hmm. any cattle or anything there at the time. So they'll take that to the mainland and, and get groceries back from yeah. them on their own. That's the way they. Mm -hmm. So they would have been um, um, using the kai around the island as, as to. Yeah, yeah. That was a more of a staple diet. diet. Can you remember the sort of fish that they ate there? Yeah, the main fish, snapper, yeah. and they used to have, they've got um, places there for mau mau. Mm. You know, only mau mau are there. Mm. And there's quite a few of them on, the, on different parts of the island. I think there's, there's three that I know of, different parts of the island, where you can catch mau mau, dozens of them. Mm. Mm. Then there's places where you can get the snapper, you know, they, they, they seem to have it all, uh, they knew where the actual different fish were, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And because they hardly use nets, they use mostly just fishing, the rods or things mm -hmm. like that. It was only later, as the years went by, they started to get the nets. Mm -hmm. so, um, do, do you recall the the uh, kihi? The kihi? The? Kihi. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Well, that was my nanny's favourite fish when I was yeah. fat. And, <laughs> and Uncle, that, Uncle Joe was telling me that the, the, that they're fat now. Yeah. So. I, I haven't seen a care for ages, even mm. going back there. That's one fish I haven't, and I haven't had a, well, I haven't had a kai, oh, I've forgotten what it tastes like now. Yeah. So they were all the staple fish, uh, red mookie. Yeah, mookie. Mm. And they were all the uh, plant, plant eating fish, the uh, herbivores, they eat the uh, seaweed net. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. Um, so, um, what a lot of the things did you learn on the island, or, you know, you learn from the old, uh, the pakeke back then? Oh, it's, it was, um, it was mostly, um, we were always out of, uh, during our school, and it was mostly growing things like growing, um, you know, putting parahias in for kumra plants. Mm. They taught us all, all how to, in which, and when they, um, the kumras were separated, so they didn't use the big ones, though they used all the smaller ones for the parahia. Mm. And then at, at, when, the, when they were finished putting those in, when they started to grow, they, they picked them up. Oh, like it was something like they had big tubs of water and it would have been about hundreds of plants mm. inside it. Mm. And they used to leave it till, uh, you know, when it was cooler or like perhaps weather like this. Because mm. it would have been, they knew it was going to rain and, you know, but there were thousands of bundles of kuma plants we had to mm. plant. And most of the time, even when we were going to school, they left them for after school. So when we came back, <laughs> That's mm, all we did. Mm, mm. Mm. Okay. So, um, just, just going on to the fishing and the diving part of it. Um, so, you remember when all the whole families used to go down to the beach and, and dive in popo kinas? Yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah, a lot of people were. Uh, a lot, even, um, I still remember when we were a lot younger that we, uh, we went for swim. Some of us went for a swim. But then afterwards, you know, we had to go and either uh, make powers and, or, or sea eggs, but powers were easy to get. We just waited for the tides to go out, mm. and then we knew exactly where, the, where it was easy to get the powers. You just had to turn the rocks over, mm. and then be thick underneath it with the powers. Mm. And sometimes there was a, like a Delne, there's a, that's a bay there. They've got these huge big boulders there, mm. and when the tide goes out, you just look underneath them and see the powers all stuck mm. underneath. So you didn't even have to dive, really? Yeah. Mm. You didn't even have to dive with them. You just go with your knife and take them off. Mm. And they were huge. Mm. They were beautiful. But of course, in those days, they uh, they dried a lot of them, eh? Mm. Mm. They brought them home, cooked them, and then they put them out, dried them. Uh, we made to put them in a string, and then... Uh, yeah, dry them up. Did you cook them first? Yeah. They boiled them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They hang them out on the light to dry yeah, Just to dry up. Okay. Yeah, and you wouldn't leave them out like if it was, well, the, you know, they, the old people talked about, don't leave them out in the moonlight. Mm. Just take take them down before it, and then bring them inside. Mm -hmm. But oh, power was very special over there. Mm. Yeah, people just loved the power. Did you, um, did you happen to see the shells? That they recently bought, Gordon, with the with the brown inside the shell. Did you see those? Did you see the pictures of those piles? Not really. Okay, they, they were brown inside the shell and they were stained, but they just pulled up from uh, I think it was down Marumaru, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. were yeah. Now and yeah. again you would see that. Okay. Yeah, now and again, not all the time. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so just moving on, uh, then. So what protocols, Tikana, do you remember about all deity? Um, remember any special stories that you, you were told no, about I that? I can't, that I can't remember anything special really about going out there. Mm. So you said to me um, a couple of weeks ago that you used to go fishing at 12 years old? Yeah. How big were your papas when you were catching? Oh, some of them were bigger than me. Right. right. But, uh, you know, the thing was, that it was, about, was because of the deep thing, mm -hmm. by the time you got it up, it was, the harpagua was just floating. Right. Floating. I, I couldn't lift a harpagua out of the right. 
I had to get the, you know, my dad or my brothers. Mm -hmm. and they were they were beautiful. They were huge. Right. So you just before you were just saying that they used that to for to take over to the mainland and stuff. Yeah, yeah. they had a big fishing you know, fishery in Dalton at Silver Point, mm. and um, and my dad always got this uh, hapuku. He always went in and sold them. Mm. Mm. That was part of the living actually. Okay. That's a long time ago though. Yeah. So why do you want the Rena to be taken off in its entirety? Yeah? What What are your reasons why you should, they should take that photo? Well, because I think that, um, you know, in time to come, we still got people at the island, we still got mokopunas and children growing up. Mm. It might be a time of they they want to do exactly what we did before. Mm. Because it, it is, it's really, um, I mean, people might think it's the hard way of living, and, but it's, it's not really. Mm, mm. You know, I mean, I can see, I think I was only about 12, 10, 12, and my dad used to take us out there, and we used to love it. And, uh, you know, we, we thought we were neat catching all these big fish, and they were nearly bigger than us. So you'll hope, hopefully, you'll let your moko to your to your daughter could go, yes. go back there and do the same thing that you well, would do. Well, I hope so. Mm -hmm. So, tell me about Modi. Modi, or is there Modi in that Tokotapu out there, or Taiti? There Modi there? Do you think? What's your understanding of Modi? I'm, I'm, I'm not really into. I'm mm. not really into okay. that sort of. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, just a couple of more questions that are not on uh, up, up there is. Um, so. Is there any, um, do you remember any haka or, or whakatauki, any more tea from the island? Can you remember any of those from way back then? Well, um, actually we, we didn't really go with... No. You know, for me, yeah, for me and uh, when, when my crow was there and then, uh, for a short time, and I knew my crow. I knew my crow on one side, mm. and then I didn't I know my queer on the other side. But uh, you know, the things that we it was we were never there was really you know we didn't they didn't really say to us oh, here, mate, hey, here, mm. this, and learn this and that. So you didn't practice in yeah, your, your yes, you know, mm. but uh, they just said to us, don't do this. And, but they never ever told us like set up thing about different places only about like fishing maybe sometimes fishing uh, and uh, you know throwing rubbish and things around the island and things like that mm. but I think because the, we were you know a lot of us were brought up there from birth everybody knew anyhow you know mm. Mm. you're not supposed to do this you're not supposed to go over there you're not supposed to you know, it's, it's just to me. To me, I was still. I remember the island as a place where everyone just helped one another. It mm. didn't matter what it was. They did, they did their own money by, and then they went and helped by other families. Mm. That happened in my time, anyhow. It was good. Yeah, and now, in many. Well, I'm not too sure about now. Mm. I'm not too sure about now. Yeah, mm. but, and I, and I, I hope it's still the same because I'm. I've hardly been back there. Mm. And, uh, You've been back since the, the rainy crashing four years ago? The crashing was to Otaki? Have you been back there since? Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Because I have a lot of problems with my Wawa now and I have problems getting off the plane, mm. getting on. Mm. Not a problem, I mean, I mean, they help, you know, they're good, they help. Yeah. Mm. But I uh, just feel a bit out of it sometimes. Mm. 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 Well, you're 86, uh, 86, you say? Eighty. Eighty-six. Eighty-six. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, well, I guess you feel that way in your late age. <laughs> so I think uh, we'll come to a closing. Uh, uh, unless you want to say anything else? Or no, no, the... that's, that's fine. That's good. Mm. But it's good to, you know, look back on those sort of things. and But, oh, yeah, they've got to get it off there. Mm. There's a, there, there could be a day coming when 
you know, they, we still got a lot of mokos there and tamarikis. Mm. I mean, they might want, one day they might have boats like it used to be and who knows, mm. you mm. know, they could go out there and make use of the, the place again. Mm. Uh, State your name and uh, your age, Uncle. Uh, 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 Karuaka <laughs> ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
Tadi aku tipu hari, aku tipu hari je, na 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 putih putih tu mana, hotoi. Kita kita itu, kalau kita itu kita itu pakar lah, kita tahu ke? Ia kau itu untuk pakar. Ia kata tu kau pernah tiada ter, ni ni tahu ke? Tahu tu tiada. Ia kau untuk pakar. Tu ni kau lah. Uh, Uncle, just um, just another question I'd like to throw in there is... Me pira kewa. Me pira kewa. Me pata kewa mai kui kia. Here. You got any uh, whakatauki Pacific to put to put away? Yeah, well. Here, you know, me kia hea to hea to tuk kia. Yeah, well. Me nega tika ya ku hato pira wera whakatauki. He mea i mua kone tanga whakatoi uki tō te ratanga te. He tanga hi anna. Ta tini he lama i tini hana ka ere. He pea i ate i tara pāwa i atahu. Kare pau ana kōrua. Tōro. Ta tini? Ha. Kumutu? Ha. Yoro ngu. Me pāte kwe tiura e muetu pēdeo. Apa yang kau? Jadi mesti maru mesti kau tu mesti si. Kau tu mahu cerita kau kau ni pek kau kau orang tu mahu mahu pun ada kau ni pek kau ni pek. Jadi tahu ada hari hari kita kuda. Indo hari indo hari yang kita ya ya lula lula di rata kau kau hera. Jadi tu mahu kau ni pek kau tu kau ni pek kau ni. Hana. Tapi kita kui di paru kau pinjik, tapi nak kau tuat sih kau ni, cuma kau ni kui kui. Hana kau tu pula nak kau cat tadi, cat tadi. Ni macam cat tadi, pula kui yang buat. Hana kau harap itu pula ada ada pula ni, ada mana? Atau ini macam cara ni? Jangan kui kau nak kata hari yang malam tengah kita dua kui malam. Hana cuma tu malam tengah ni dia harus jadi. Kau harus jadi terima kau pikir pakar ni kau. Tak punya tu, tak punya kau tu mahu. Kau yang lama hidup dah nak nak kain alat je, jadi tu jauh kau faham je, dua kau mana? Ha, kamu kamu tu amia, tu pemain yang yang cari kat tak ni kat tak tak buat beri je, tu puni mah. Yang ni nak puni mana? Kau mahu apa? Ha, kau beri 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 apa? Kau keli, kau yang ambil pakai dia mah, pakai dia mata. Ah, we tahu kita macam di rawa ye. Kecik nanti orang nak hujan hujan itu tu hari perang kalau nak truck ye. Anak kerja kau, kerja kau tu tu pas tu mesti dia cuci rumah kita, kita kerak, kerja rumah kita kita lah. Kamu, anak, kamu hari kerja itu kau yang ngah huru, kau tu itu kini, oh kini mana? Ah, kau tu 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 ceram mati. Kau tu tu kau tu ramu hati lah. Kau keluar dah dah ni pikir tu pikir tu tu tono tera. Kau tu kau tu tu kau tu tu kau tu tu kau tu kau tu tu kau 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 kita umur hari kita mutu kuih, mana kuna kita kuih na putih kuih wah tu yahin way tu, eh wah ni kita pergi cerau tu pu pu di nuh di nuh ni, ha kau orang ikhlas oh tu 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 panu tu kerai, ha kau kita tu, ha kau kerai tu ha ha aku kerai, oh kau panu tu kerai, mana kuna putih kuih aku putih putih, ha. Kah, pay koro ini, ini buat kau mana? Hari orang ini mesti terawih krim dan hitam hitam macam ni. Kalau dia orang tua Roman nama. Anak kita kita tu, kau yang mak kita koro tu, tu tak cuma tu. Kau hujan kau nak buat kau yang mula kau tu. Kau tu kau kui, kau yang orang nak. Ha, kau tu faham tu kau tu. Ha, kau faham tu kau tu. Kau nak buat kau mana? Hari kau tu timi timi orang kau kau pukai mana? Hati kekia kia rumah mana? Apa yang nama najis rumah? 
और नहा तो ना हुए ना कहाँ कहाँ इधरी कर के चला तो वे चीन छोटा कोई चीन चले वो ये तो ना कर हो कहते तो वे चीन कपड़ों में तो वे चीन पाइप कर चिकाओ की वो ही है ना कहीं तो चुई ना पाइप पे चेला पाइप पे टफी तो पाइप पे हो कहते कहाँ तो इतना इतना है ती तो माल पापा ठाट ठाट को कहाँ चुन जाए कहाँ वो की तो कर हुए Kalau kita siapa, kita ni juga, kita ni, bukan hanya kita tu. Tempat ini masih baru ni jangan nak nak kor nak kor nak kor, bukan leh. Jadi pergi jauh ni, kalau mereka pergi kor mumu cici, macam macam kat tu. Pergi jauh kor tu, jadi tu apa? Kalau macam tu apa? Tengi nak kor mumu cici. Kali mesti terkait tentang diri. Ya, tiga. Tiga. That we ate a lot of on the island. Ya. Well, the name of the fish that we ate a lot of on the island. The kid. Yeah. Did muki. Mama. Kehe. The fish, kehe. My nanny Fahuya used to eat the kehe when it was fat. In maize picking time. Yeah, what do you do? Kehe. 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 Fish. Eek. Why kehe? Oh, I feel like I want to go to the water. You could take kehe, take a pair of the hari to eat the pork, which is totally like it might be done. Did a bill, yeah. Hit your head. Yeah, this is what Uncle Joe was saying. They had to get a torch for the mad night. Had a good deal. He didn't have one look of the pigeon cute day. Look at her. Get it. You can't catch him with a hook, eh? Can't. Yeah. Yeah, probably put the car out. What do you know, girl? Yeah. Probably clean. Hmm. Can't get it. The mama. Mau mau, the red muki. Eh mau mau, eh kih. Di tabur, ramal. Eh hulur tu nak jumpa lagi ke? Ya, ini pergi ke awal ni kita buat nak kudu. Kena rata pergi tu, ya tahu. Anda kau tu mewah mewah tu kau itu pada kerja 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 Aku hati hari ini tu tahu dah. Nak mahar aku tak mai muncul di pakar. Di sini baru buat kamu. Aku mata hati dia pi pi radio. Nak hati kaji pakar orang ini nak yang cepat cuba nak hoi cepat cuba ye. Kolom main kaji. Mesti tahu. Pati kau mana, pati kau mana mana, kata mereka hoyo tu pati we, kata hoyo tu mereka itu pati we, pike, kalau mau tukar orang tinggal pike, tak kait cuma kapal dia, mana nanti 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 kau mana, pati kau mana, nak kau masih kuyen yang dah hulu, eh, emu kau macam tu pergi kau ni, kau ni hoyo tu pui tera tera mahu ni tu, tu tu. Aro ya hoi di tera prada, tera tanya ya hoi di tera tuna di tera prada. Hello Michael, saya dah tera kau mati di tuh. Kalau tuh parti kau mati di hoki mau di paketa, tuh mau itu parti di paketa. Kan ho di paketa ya. Eh ho, kalau tega kau kau tanya ni apa, tuh kau mau tuh kau kui tuh hoki. Kalau tega kau tuh kau pay, tadi tadi di mana di pun hari parti pakar di zaman di kor, tadi kau tuh kau pay. Tak apa. 
Okay, that's enough for today, Uncle. Well, I'll put my hoodie up. <laughs> <laughs> and your shades on. <laughs> put your gangster shades on then. Yeah, I've got to put the white jersey too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello, Brett. Walter, right? Bye bye. Very big and cold up here. Look at Blue skies here. Hey, blue skies here. Yeah, blue skies here too. Beautiful, blinking thing, but oh, the southerly, eh? Yeah, we had a bit of frost on there at at at, uh, at the Marae. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, it's it's recording now. So, okay. how long will this uh, this uh, take? Uh, half an hour. No, a couple. Yeah, because uh, he he was one to because we're in we're in the one and office now because I got no broadband at oh, home. Okay. I I, um, I I brought it back. Yeah. yeah. We'll do a quick kind of key there, and we'll get going, eh? Yeah. Uh, Kitty Tartari in a cupu, if a puki nut and a mato, can wear a good two horror. But you have got a matu to head to Kufari, a chinatini here, and we call it tongue or whatever tongue. Natini puhu carrying away your mato, chin and mato, waiting in mato in the world. We take it now to Tahunati to Ahi could it in my yakuto, Kapuri, Munra. You know, no kidding with Naka deep in the tark, if I know how you to wait you at up. Kiamati met a hooker, Kiamati met a cupa, but the Hadakore. It to what it got in Nafaka moment if I want to glory. Red Kotuate Nev to Cotton and Nafaka Moimit of Pataya Kutu, Makutu Munaki Tangaya Mata. Lore in one who get in the Kopa point one who get in the mean. Etang yet in Gakutu, Kawate here Kutu Naka Waita and Hoki had in the Itamata of Hindu. Kekuku here may Kutu to go to Maramata, a man who can a Kopa Panuki Chikan, a Punwan and Hoki, Irungan Hoki. Na Mahian Hoki, a Mahian Mata in waiting the Kobo, a Pana and Hoki Kitimotiri, a Kinawa Nokio, or Mata Panga Nok. To lay the Koto, Katikiti Katimaram, Manaki, if you had to go to Arahono Metoko to Rangi Badi, when you get my total, my Ionia can they are. All right, John, that's a little kick off straight away. First question, Dad, what were you doing at the time the Rena hit? What were you doing at the time when the Rena hit, and how did you find out? Uh, <coughs> who rang me? Who rang me? Somebody rang me, and, uh, and also, uh, you know, I saw it on on TV. Yep. So, how yeah. did that make you feel when you saw that, um, Dad? Well, you... to uh, tell you honestly, I I, I, uh, I sat down and cried and cried, mm. and Mum Mum said to me was wrong and I told her about the, the Rena mm. and how devastating that Kohatu was. I wasn't uh, crying for the for the Rena, I wasn't crying for the but I was crying for that Kohatu. Mm. Mm. That Papa that Papa Kohatu. Mm. Uh, knowing the the history I the Krogus gave me that it came back to me that entire time. Uh, and then talking on that just con continuing on that um to Dad, um, can you tell us a little bit about um, you, your days when you went fishing over there with your crower to Yeah, yeah uh, when I was about 10, 11, 12, 12, I used to go there fishing everything. Uh, I used to bring and run away from school and go, go because I see him coming from the mount and know straight away uh, that it was him coming. and. Uh, I, I used to go down to the to, to the mono and tie my horse up to the tree at the top of the cliff and then run down the cliff to the rocks and uh, and he, he bumps his uh, boat to the rocks and I jump on and 
we with uh, anchor there and do a bit of uh, kai and whatnot. And then early, four o'clock in the morning, we chug out to Otaichi uh, to, to, to do that fitting. We get there just on bread day break and we start uh, going around and around the, the whole Taichi and what he was And he go around for about an hour, and then he said, "Ah, go pay," and then we start catching kahawai, uh, oodles of kahawai. Then he uh, we chug over to his uh, uh, talk um, uh, down uh, grounds. Now Hapuku ground there, and then he anchors over there. And I'm trying to ask questions all the time, and I'm asking him more. I hear na 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 maka ni the the things. Where do who do you where do you learn? Uh, and he's there to tell me, oh, you do your own. You know, you wouldn't tell, show me his. So I had to bring and make out my own, and get the hills, and line it up with a with a tree or something like that, and that sort of thing. Yeah. And uh, we did it caught uh, for a boatload of uh, hapuku. He used to chop me off with a with a uh, little one, a couple of little ones, and I take off home. And uh, he takes off to to sell uh, the, the hapu. Mm -hmm. Sure. So um, they they were um, karakia tafito. Is that what you were saying? Yeah. Yeah. Or, or yeah. Karakia? Yeah. Karakia tafito. And I used to I do ask. Uh, uh, Oh, the whole ha you know. Mm. And to, to me, at that time, when I was little, that mumble jumble type sort of thing. Mm. Mm. And then I, I think, oh, it worked, it worked good. Uh, he's uh, like here. So I said, oh, ako hia hauk ite ite na karakia tavito. Mm -hmm. And that's when he said to me, kao, but the tangata nu e tohu hia na he tohunga. Yeah, you're not just anybody that yeah, that can do it. That anybody can do it. And he said to me, "This is the things he said to me." Do that one. Sure. Mahi mahi to 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 Because it's the same thing. And yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, uh, 18, I think, might be uh, 16, 17, somewhere, somewhere around there. We pinched uh, Kepanuku's boat, mm. Ike, Ike and I, and his son, because we didn't want to uh, to, to uh, stay and load up the barge with maize. So we took off, so took some kai, and got on that boat at four o'clock in the morning. We took off out there, and I started going around and around. And uh, he, he was doing the same, but, but I did, I did a Kakia Ratana, Kamoimichi Ratana. And I uh, going around and around and around, and the ego was saying, hey, hurry up. You know, I said, don't you put your line down yet. And when, when I was uh, finished, I said, okay, you're ready. And as soon as his lines went down, I'm thinking we were getting Kauai's left, right, and said, hey, because I was steering the boat. And, yeah. He was uh, going flat out at the back, and we got enough for for bait. That was our name, main name. Then we went to, uh, and I started remembering my 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 my, my own marks, because yeah. we started arguing. And, and you no, know, we're putting that over here. Anyway, we finished it, and uh, we put a, uh, got a, about 40 uh, big harpugu. The harpugu was most of them were bigger than us. Mm. And uh, we, we went back and went to sleep. We were that tired. We went to sleep, and when we woke up, we cooked ourselves a feed, uh, away head and whatnot. And uh, when we finished, we pulled up the uh, the anchor, and then we cruised back into to uh, to the island. And I was, uh, I said, you, 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 you steer our boat, you'll clean this, all this, uh, up, uh, the gutter. 
cut the hapuku and everything like that, and we were still going when we landed at Tom Taylor, and because uh, our dinghy was there, we just pulled up our, our anchors, the anchors were still down, and brought the dinghy to the, to the back, and I was still cleaning the boat, and I looked up the top, and here's Kepanuku uh, standing up there, <laughs> head screw, and I Up. Anyway, we never uh, looked up. We, we just left, and all of a sudden, we, like, we started pulling and putting the harpo on the back of the, the boat, you know, and lining her up so so he uh, kept on getting seated. And he, mm. Next minute, he was down at the beach, at the, the, the beach, come and get me. So I said to Ika, oh, you go and get him. You're going to cure your ears. And anyway, he went to, to, to get him. And he came back, and, yeah, and he was so wrapped with that, all of the, the boat was full of blinging car, I'm a hapu. So, he, when we went, when we went to, uh, to, to, to go back to the, to the toka, to the, we got about 10 the next day, you know, half a day, so we took off to Tauranga to ta take the fish. But uh, the thing is that, to me, it wasn't wasn't much of a thing in, in, when I was uh, young, but to me now thinking about it, and that's what where the tangi comes in. Mm. Thinking about the karakia that uh, the old no fella did, and how he did it. He reckoned it, it, it wasn't meant for me to do things like that, but to use my own hahi now and <laughs> what I what I was taught and what I'm, I'm sitting. So he wouldn't give me any karakia mm, toffee too. And then he started talking about, uh, I started asking questions and I said, oh, why did you do a karakia around that kohatu? And that's when he told me that koina te te hau te kohatu e peke atue e na na waidua e hare ki Hawaii ki nui, Hawaii ki roa, Hawaii ki pa mama. You know, the, the Patiwai people lying on at, uh, at the Marae, mm. and that's what he reckon. They reckon we don't go the other way. A lot of people, a lot of people, uh, a lot of iwi they uh, they go up north. Uh, mm. Now, we go to the Papa Otai, right? Out there, yeah. Papa Otai, mm. uh, out there. Out there, yeah. They go past uh, the out there, the Papa Otai. Well, that that's why that that was there. Uh, uh, ki, ki, ki ngā so a stepping stone. Yeah, yeah. To wake you new, wake you Okay, just carrying on, um, Dad. Uh, so you tell, tell me about when uh, the diving around Mōtiti, or what sort of kai we used to get, and uh, what you did in your time over there, the diving spots. Well, we were uh, we were diving. I couldn't even swim. But uh, every time I go swimming, I, I, I go underwater and along the, along the bottom and then come back up. Mm. That's how I used to swim and I, I get to a place I want to go and then uh, give me code. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and I was always swim, swimming underwater. But quite a few of us used to do that. Okay. And uh, go and uh, get a, uh, find some crayfish. And when you get the crayfish, you sometimes, because you're so young, you're trying to pull the crayfish in because uh, they, they were fairly uh, big and hefty. And you're trying to pull them out, you can't pull them out because they've uh, stretched their legs mm -hmm. and they've got their spikes up against uh, the, the top of the uh, uh, crevice. And you've got a hard job to try and get them out. Yes. So what, what, I do, what we used to do, go down, break a couple of legs and go back up have a breather, down again, they end up there's no legs on the crayfish. <laughs> yeah. And the fire um, dead uh, used to say, oh, I can hear no way to call on my code. Because most of the crayfish we get home, they no got no legs. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we had to eat them, you know, get them all together. We, we, we don't leave them in there. We bring them up, take them on the beach and um, with sitting there blinking, chewing on uh, crayfish legs or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, well, yeah, uh, just moving on to the, 
Um, tell me about the, you know, when you, we used to pour pour kinners on, on Mortiti. And tell me about the white ones and, and the orange ones. What we used to do with them. Well, uh, when I'm not going to be a crow, the father won't. And then, we're going to be a crow, the father won't. Yeah, far, far Yeah, that's the uh, container, and the other uh, papiro into another container. Mm. And uh, the reason that you can eat uh, the, those far far straight away, but the other ones you sort of uh, put it, put in fresh fresh water for a couple of days, or you know you can do that with those. But it's, it still comes out the same. Mm. Yeah, only you can you can eat it a lot better in fresh water. The, the story that you you told me quite a while ago is that uh, the white ones when the when you're the Tangihana or, or Hui on the island, mm. the white ones were for the Manuhiri. Is that true? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Yeah, and even even when when you Christmas time, if you if you get uh, people come over to get to, to Mahikina. Mm. You, you you get them uh, the bucket is uh, full of that, and you, you keep the the rest for you, mm. uh, the papiru. Is is it a, a, a sweeter sweeter kina? Making me and, happy. Uh, yeah. Mm. So yeah, uh, just a little, elaborate a little bit more on you know when we used. Well, I remember the times we used to go over to the island and whole families, all families, all our yeah. relations would. Go down to the beach, and there'll be heaps of us in the water towing around a dinghy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know that, that was that was always uh, anybody any manuhiri came over, uh, and you know I could remember even Hawiki run up here used to come over uh, for, for a couple of days, and we used to bring in give him a bucket of bring in uh, kinas like that, mm. special. Okay. Yeah. You know those sort of things. Anybody that came over, we used to do that, and yeah, we were to swallow, swap them over. And crayfish, uh, in our teenage years, we had to go out diving for crayfish, and boat boat load, and then go over to market to beach up, and uh, sell it to a, a parker that was there, and then bit of a uh, bit of party, bit of uh, that. But we used to always get, you know, being teenagers, we used to get a, a crate of drinks and chocolate or anything like that. Then we used to get a uh, peppies and then shoot back home. Then we used to dry the peppies. There's no peppies. Uh, if the, the peppies at market two used to be good. Mm. Not now. Can, can you remember any time that when you uh, used to see the, the, the Hikina or, or Dakota? Well, you, you just about know uh, the, when the when the crayfish goes. See, there's two uh, times the, the female mm. stays. It uh, comes in at around about uh, March to April to to, to 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 spawn their things, and the male comes in at about s September uh, at, uh, at the thing, and then. Because the rest of the, the winter they disappear, mm. and that's where they go for their march. Uh, Uncle, Uncle Boy, even uh, I think summer too. I think I'm not sure. Uncle Boy was telling us. Um, uh, we talked to him the other night, and he told me they would walk, walk over to uh, to Otaiti and spawn. At the Moyo, oh, I think they go further than that. Okay, mm. I think they go further than that. Don't don't. But uh, no, nobody knew uh, what it was, hey, because uh, we never bothered because, uh, you know, we wait till they come back and then... Mm. So you weren't allowed uh, to touch them when they were, uh, we had, had eggs on them, eh? Yeah, we weren't allowed to touch them when they had eggs on them. Uh, we go back home with, uh, with the crayfish with the eggs on them, uh, you get a growling. Mm. And if you went back home, you know how the... They they come in they come in shore to reshell to take their 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 their, their okay. hard shell off and have a new one and that's when they go into a crevice to to, to get away from the from the um, tamure mm. you know anything like that that eats them.
because yeah. they, they got a soft skin, a soft uh, shell. Mm. And uh, we used to pick him up and you know straight away, you know, you try and put it back into the thing uh, the, till they harden up. Yeah. Okay, uh, Brittany, you want to ask any question you got anything you want to ask? No, not at this point. So, yeah. Well, this is the last, uh, our last question, Dad. Uh, uh, reasons. What are your reasons? Yeah, to Picard or or did they cope up? Well, just to, before I answer that question, mm. what do you guys think is going to happen to those containers? When they corrode, mm. well, logic tells us it's gonna, you know, escape yeah. in another, you know, the, uh, another a few years time, twenty or thirty. What do you reckon, Brit? Yeah, no, exactly. You yeah. know, when they when they corrode, then they they rust. Mm. They're gonna come up and release their their their, their cargo, aren't they? Yeah. And when they release their cargo, they're gonna end up on Motiti Island, on uh, Makitu. Where the Ngati Himmels are Lingen agreed. So this is the thing, you know, all these people that has agreed to take the money, they must remember that uh, it's going to come out and they have to clean up their Lingen for sure, because nobody else will. The owners won't. Mm -hmm. so they have to make sure. Now, with Motiti, I have visualized uh, for a long time. If it came round, uh, from the north and came in to uh, Wainanaki, Papaiotai, Tom Taylor, Sandy Bay, Mix Bay and Notoharakeke, mm. all those, uh, those uh, the, the, the coast yeah. and they'd be pushed over by the westerly winds and I reckon myself, in fact I, I even dreamt about it, that a um, couple of containers uh, rotten old um, cargo, cargo in there, uh, right underneath uh, uh, Napier's nose. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything else to add, Ed? I mean, yep. Yeah. Anything yeah. else to add? Well, you know, that, 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 that sort of thing there, that, 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 that uh, thing. Who's going to clean it up? That's that's my my, my question now. Who's going to clean it up? Was they going to let us? Yeah. They're going to say it's going to stay where it is. But it won't stay where it is because that place is so rough, mm. and so uh, the, uh, the 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 thing too, the currents around that rock is going to bling and move, and it move it'll move closer and closer and closer to the island. Mm. I'm not worried about the uh, the sea, uh, the, uh, the sandy seas around uh, Papamoy and all that, mm. <coughs> and. And my question is, how, how's the Kaimwana there? Yeah, good question. I haven't tried any of you, Britain. Oh, <coughs> oh. Mm. Well, okay, that, that just brings yeah, us... Yeah, yeah. Huh? Uh, the, other, the other thing I think you need to, to, to worry about, that, that place used to have a Kaichaki. Mm. And that Kaichaki was a big shark. Have they ever seen that thing in Leilasa? Uh I'm not quite sure. The, 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 it goes around and around and it only appears at certain times. It doesn't appear all the time. And that's the Kaichaki, that's the, the Kaichaki of Tera. Um, so whether, whether the, whether the uh, thing, the, the chemicals have bling and pushed it away, hmm. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Food for thought, Dad? Yeah. Yeah, put that in their pipe. <laughs> okay, Dad, I think we've come to an end. Thank you very much for that call. Yeah, that's all right. I was, uh, Mama, who was supposed to uh, uh, ring me, he rang me uh, rang the other day, uh, but I was at the Tangi. He was supposed to ring me back that night, but he didn't. So he's, he's been very busy, he was telling Mum. Yeah. Hey, bye. Yeah. Uh, we're in there. We're, we're in there for the color gear too, Dad. If you if you don't mind. Yeah. If I come with me, if I come with you, then I'll go to your home. We're in the Manaki Tangamaha. Your home is going to be a matau. You're going to go to the Nikaupapa. You're going to go to the Mihini. 
Nurei rama kai tu ma tau e mana ki cha ki koko hu mai anu ki na tau anu ki wa hu ya mai ko e i hoa. Kia toho tanu ki ma tau anu ki do tu anu ki tau tapu tang hirung anu ki ya koi tau mana ki tang. Kia kore anu ki awi duna fa kua i tanga ateo atere i mana tiki gu. Na ma awi i tanga fa kata hiya ti koi tau ki mai anu ki. Kia kore fai wahi hirung anu ki tau koi tau alho me tau koi tau rangi ma ni ke tu 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 kuma ki mai anu ki. Avoid hooking by a total of my eye.